Dr. Ajay Shankar Jagadish, Research Fellow in the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering at the National University of Singapore. The topic of my presentation is the selection of image processing algorithms for evaluation of previous pavement pole network properties. Porous pavements are widely used nowadays because of its increased permeability with pavement skid resistance and acoustic absorption coefficients, resulting in reduced stormwater runoff, wind weather accidents, and tire to road noise. It has been reported in the past studies that wind weather accidents has reduced by 80% and tire to road noise has reduced by 3 to 5 decibels when we go for pervious pavements. In our current study, we are mainly focusing on pervious concrete. As we all know, that it is a special class of hydraulic cement concrete with higher interconnected voids ranging from 15 to 35 percentage. The increased use of pervious pavements as a functional performance layer necessitates the understanding of pore network properties and their relationships to permeability and uh, skid resistance properties. X-ray computer tomography has been widely used in the medical analysis since 1970s. In recent years, significant efforts have been made in analyzing various types of infrastructure materials using XRCT and uh, digital image processing. Use of XRCT in the field of pavement engineering started in the late 1990s, and this enables the accurate measurement of the pavement internal structure within the voxel resolution. The process involved in CT scan analysis includes image filtering, segmentation, mask filtering, and mesh generation. There are several applications of XRCT in pavement engineering, like clogging evaluation, full-scale accelerated pavement testing, shear modulus evaluation, fatigue testing, indirect tensile testing, permeability, and even the skid resistance simulations. However, the major limitation in the existing studies includes the lack of systematic usage of digital image processing algorithms like the shoulding, ungrouping, and watershed, resulting in significant errors, and also the lack of mention of algorithms resulting in the difficulty in comparison of results. In our current study, three different obvious concrete mixtures were produced in the laboratory using siliceous aggregates of different nominal maximum aggregate sizes. Summertime 16 channel medical XRCT scanner was used in our current study to obtain the internal structure of previous concrete samples at uh, University Hospital at Taiwan. Uh, when we observed the grayscale intensity, grayscale histograms, the cement and cement mortar and uh, aggregates occupy the larger grayscale values and larger peak because of its higher density and atomic number, whereas the air voids occupy the lower grayscale values and the shorter peak. The flattened zone between the two peaks represents the partial volume effect since partial volume effect since the Voxel size is often larger than the individual components, and some voxels may contain a mixture of different phases. Next is the crucial step in the image processing algorithm, which is image segmentation. It is actually the process of binarization used to divide the images of different grayscale intensities into two or three different phases. Now, it can be classified into two different types, global and local thresholding. And uh, even the global thresholding can further be classified into different phases like histogram, clustering, entropy, and even volumetric method. In this, the volumetric method was introduced by Professor Papadianakis, in which the threshold value is obtained by calibrating the effective porosity with respect to the laboratory porosity results. These are some of the results from our study for different thresholding algorithms for porosity and permeability. We found that the error percentage for effective porosity can vary from minus 30 percentage to maximum of 38 percentage. And for permeability, it can vary even more from minus 65 percentage to up to like 136 percentage. Even the laboratory-based method like volumetric can produce an error of 8 percentage for permeability. Our own discharge-based algorithm produces the least error with respect to porosity and permeability like 1 point minus 2 percentage and plus 2.5 percentage. Uh, these are all the airwide segmentation results for sample P1 using various thresholding algorithms. Uh, in the segmented slides, the black color indicates the air void phase, whereas the white color indicates the cement and aggregate phase. Here, in which the also tri level algorithm uses two different threshold values compared to the other algorithms, uh, in this also tri level can predict like three different phases like aggregate, cement, and air voids, whereas other algorithms can predict only the solid and void phases. This is actually the measurement of four network properties methodology, in which we had already carried out the threshold segmentation algorithm. Second is the uh, ungrouping algorithm in which the whole pore structure can be divided into effective pores and isolated pores. Third most important step is the water seg watershed segmentation algorithm. It is actually a type of particle segmentation algorithm in which the grayscale pixels of digital images are processed as topographic terrains having ridges and valleys and the watersheds are identified as boundaries separating the different particles. This algorithm is commonly used to segment overlapping or touching granular materials 
or where there is a limited contrast between different phases. The third, the step, the fourth most important algorithm is the object-oriented bounding algorithm, in which the, each and every particle is kept in a rotating box, and the box is rotated and until the volume of the box is the least. And this particular dimensions of this object-oriented bounding box will be used to determine the shape factor characteristics. Final algorithm is the center line algorithm in which the whole effective pore structure is converted into a line-based model and the least distance between the top and bottom surface is used for the tortuosity evaluation. These are all some of the pore parameters which we are investigating in our current study, which includes effective volume, throat area, coordination number, tortuosity, mean effective sphericity, and even shape factor. At first, we are investigating the effect of image processing algorithms on pore network properties, mainly average pore volume. Here, the first column represents different samples. Second and third column represents different thresholding algorithms. And final column represents the average pore volume for different combinations of ungrouping and watershed algorithms. In this, at first, the lack of ungrouping and watershed represents the single effective pore and multiple isolated pores. Whereas the use, second, uh, use, sec, use of ungrouping algorithm represents a single effective pore. Third subcolumn represents the use of watershed algorithm, which is the multiple effective pores and multiple isolated pores. Final column is the actual one, which studies only the multiple effective pore structure. From the previous study, we showed that the discharge phase is the uh, most accurate one, and uh, the use of ungrouping and watershed algorithm is proposed in this particular study. At first, when we observed the results, uh, it can be seen that an increase in the threshold value results in the increase of air-wide voxels and thereby increasing the average pore volume properties. This can be observed for all combinations of ungrouping and watershed algorithms and is in line with the findings in the past studies. Next is the uh, next when we observe the row-wise and column-wise results. Row-wise results has uh, error percentage varying from 0 to 197,000 percentage of uh, errors for various combinations of ungrouping and watershed algorithms. However, for the variation of the shoulding algorithms can increase the error only from minus 25 to plus 41 percentage. So finally, we can observe that the ungrouping and watershed algorithms have a multiple, has like a greater effect on the pore properties compared to the shoulding algorithms. Once the algorithms are finalized, we can study for different samples and different pore properties like volume, surface area to tortuosity. In this, we can observe that the P1 has have P1 is having a lower uh, volume compared to P2 because of its uh, increase, because of its lesser nominal maximum aggregate size. P3, because of its intermediate aggregate gradation, it, it exhibits all the properties are exhibiting in the intermediate between P1 and P2. Uh, overall, we can see that the increase in nominal maximum aggregate size results in the increase of average pore volume, surface area, throat area, sphericity and shape factor, and decrease in coordination number and threshold and tortuosity. In conclusion, we can see the three main, three main outputs. One is the increase in the threshold value is always resulting in the increase of air wide voxels and the opening of new pore channels resulting in increased effective porosity and intrinsic permeability. Second, um, the second conclusion is like the discharge based algorithm is capable of predicting the results more accurately compared to the existing global thresholding algorithms like histogram, clustering, entropy, and volumetric. Finally, most importantly, the ungrouping and watershed algorithms have a greater effect on pore properties compared to the thresholding algorithms. Um, the importance of the image processing algorithms on pore properties were investigated in the current study, and the appropriate set of digital image processing algorithms were selected for further analysis to study the effect of pore network characteristics on permeability and skill resistance characteristics. Overall, the findings presented in the current study can help in understanding and understanding towards the future works on pavement mixture quality control. These are some of our recent contributions on the effect of the shoulding on por porosity, permeability, and the skill resistance. Thank you.